Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pello. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I to start this morning with a scripture reading, continuing from yesterday's reading in the book of Luke, and it will be chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So, likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three, do you think, was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Now please join me in a time of prayer today, this morning. Dear Lord, this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. With gratitude, we thank you for preserving our life for one more day. We thank you for your ultimate gift of love for us in the form of your Son and the sacrifice of his life on our behalf. Because of this overwhelming gift that we often cannot comprehend, We humbly submit to you, Lord. We know that we are mere human and cannot instruct you, but you, Lord, can instruct us. So teach us your ways so that we may rely on your faithfulness. Teach us to number our days and to use our time very wisely in order to serve you best. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a good day today.